New at 11, more fallout from a hostage drama at a West Suburban hospital. Thanks for joining us. I'm Lionel Moyes. I'm Erin Kennedy. Today, nurses who are at the center of it are suing Kane County authorities. CBS 2's Mike Puccinelli joins us live from the loop with more on the lawsuit. Hi, Mike. Hi, and the news conference regarding this lawsuit just wrapped up about 20 minutes ago in the building that you see behind me right now, and the details are absolutely horrifying. They describe a more than three and a half hour long standoff where two nurses were held hostage, and one of those nurses was shot, tortured, and raped. Now both nurses are suing the Kane County Sheriff's Department. Offender is at, in the ER holding hostages at gunpoint. It's going to be a handgun Glock 21. And that's what it sounded like when the call for help came in earlier this month at Del Nor Hospital in Geneva as the standoff began to unfold. The dispatcher knew exactly what type of gun the 22 year old Kane County inmate had because he took it from a correctional officer who he overpowered. The standoff with the ex felon and suspected car thief lasted for hours before SWAT team members ended it by shooting Taiwan Salters to death in a room near the ER. Officials say Salters fired a bullet at officers, striking one in his bulletproof vest before he was killed by a North Aurora officer. That shot also struck the nurse being held hostage in her arm, according to her lawyers. Now, according to the 27 page suit, Salters was being treated for a suicide attempt after he ingested cleaning fluid and ate part of his jail issued sandal. Lawyers say the nurses should never have been harmed because Salters should have been shackled to this hospital bed. Here you can see the cuff still dangling from the side rails. Lawyers for the nurses say the security guards left him unrestrained while at times some even watched television and slept on the job. What we're largely concerned with is this never should have happened. There never should have been uh, that opportunity. Um, there's absolutely no reason why Mr. Salters was left unrestrained. Uh, how, how he was able to gain the officer's gun um, I'd like to know why the officer uh, went in the other room and closed the door and didn't take any further action to subdue the gunman. Um, and I think all of those questions need to be answered before we get to anything else. Now, the names of both nurses are being withheld to protect their privacy. In addition to financial compensation, they say they want to see change enacted in Kane County. We reached out to Kane County officials for comment. So far, they're yet to respond to this lawsuit. Reporting live in the loop, Mike Puccinelli, CBS 2 News. Lionel, Aaron. All right, Mike, thank you.